So welcome people of God. So I have a really quick word of encouragement. Happy joy in July. I pray that you are continuing in your decision to have joy in July. And if it's not July when you're listening to this, we still decree your decision, your decree, your agreement to have joy, to absolutely have joy. Okay, and so when releasing that July word, joy in July, joy in July, one of the first things that I heard the Spirit of the Lord speak to me is no more overthinking. And there could not be a bigger enemy of joy than overthinking. There could not be a bigger enemy of joy than overthinking. And we are living in a time where information is in abundance. <laughs> information is overloaded to us all day every day what's going on outside of us what's going on within us what's going on around us what's going on about us there is so much information out there right and so we all have all day long the ability to see be in agreement feel believe all of the information that would cause us to be in our thoughts all day every day and so as I was talking to the Lord about um, joy in July and no more overthinking, I want to talk about overthinking though as it relates to you. And listen, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to talk in some real basic language so that you can really honestly hear my heart. One of the things as I think about my own deliverance from overthinking is first of all, not realizing for a really long time how much of an overthinker I was. I did not know that a lot of the fear, a lot of the stillness, a lot of the stagnation that I was in agreement with was because I was always overthinking. I, I was overthinking so much that I wasn't really aware that I was overthinking. And then <laughs> when I became aware that I was overthinking, when the truth of Paul saying, do not be anxious about nothing became my portion, I became aware of being aware that I was in my thoughts. And now I have all this language, all this information that makes me aware. Now overthinking is a thing. Like I wasn't aware that overthinking was a thing. And now I know overthinking is a thing. Now I, I know PTSD is a thing. Now I know that anxiety, all these terms around brain science and neuroplasty and all of these things that have you thinking about your thinking, about your thoughts and your thinking. <laughs> you hear me? Like... Now I have all this information and now I can't get out of my head about my head, what's going on in my head. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I heard Norval Hayes say something on, on a, a YouTube video years ago. He said the most powerful thing that you could ever say in regards to opposition, two little letters is the word no. And in our humanity, in the body of Christ, we've complicated that, right? This is why there's always so much focus on deliverance and fighting and warfare. Because listen, in our humanity, our, our brain is a defense organ. Like it's a defense organ, right? Fight or flight. Either you're going to be scared. And this is in our humanity. This is not talking about us being spirit beings where we should not be conformed to this. This should not be our norm. In our humanity, I'm either scared of it or I'm going to fight it. Ease is not in our humanity calm is not in our humanity that is 100 percent us being transformed with a renewed mind i had to get renewed in my mind and i had to say thinking about my thinking was going up no no i stopped over analyzing everything i stopped being afraid of everything i stopped wanting to fight everything and all I could think of is, no, this is no, no. Anxiety, worry, the how, all this, no. I'm not seeking peace, I am peace. I'm not seeking joy, I have joy. I'm not seeking it, I have it. I have sought first the kingdom of heaven. That's what the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom. I've already sought it, it's within me now. Greater is he who is within me. I stopped doing, I stopped being so fixated on 
everything going on inside of me all the time. Like I'm not getting ready to do no 12 point bullet on how to, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's, that's why for me, for me y'all, like I'm just talking about Manny here. It was too, it was actually a burden to be hearing all these messages about things that I was struggling with. Just give me the solution. Just, just tell me the answer. Just uh, spirit of rejection, understand. Spirit of delay, got it. Spirit of denial, got it. All this, can we just, the harvest, can we just get to that part? Where is that part? Teach me about how to live and have and be that part. And so I'm telling you now, the biggest enemy of joy is overthinking. It's always overthinking. It's always putting you in a place where you never have what it is that you are believing for. It, it Just one more step. It, it's going to get a little bit harder before it gets better. A little bit more, you know. And so we, we actually are in agreement with, you know, mm, I, was, I, I, I want ease, but I don't have ease. You don't have ease because you're not saying I have ease. I, I want to be calm, but I'm not calm. I, I want to be not overthinking, but I'm not overthinking. Like I said, Nor when Norval Hayes taught me that, no. When I hear the thought, when I feel the thought, I'm overthinking. No. Worry, no. Anything from the enemy, no. In Jesus' name, no. No, no, and no. And I'm not trying to oversimplify well, actually, I am. I am trying to oversimplify. I'm not trying to discredit. That's what I want to say. Anything that anybody is going through. But listen, people of God, you don't need me to validate what you feel like you're going through. You're doing that yourself. What I'm trying to do is to validate where you want to be headed. That's where I'm that that's this house movement. I don't need to validate anymore the spirit of rejection, the trauma. The drama, the I, I, we, we, we've done that. We've done that in abundance. I want to validate joy. I want to validate what it is you are believing God for. That's what I want to say. It's done. It's done for you. And so, listen. I want you to understand that the Word of God is no more overthinking. There's not a formula. There's not a science. There's not anything deep about that. No, I'm not overthinking anymore. I'm not. And I understand that that's going to be a process. I understand. You understand that that's going to be a process. But the decision to not be overthinking, we're, we're, we're owning that right now. We are living in that right now. So again, I decree over you, happy joy in July. The joy of the Lord is your strength. No more overthinking.